see all the caches in there, but they're going to come out. Okay, the broth is boiling. Do you want it to be boiled? Yeah, and the broth, uh, the broth can be boiled but not in high. Medium. Okay. Medium. Always boiling. You're going to have the broth boiling all the time, all the time until you finish. It's taking longer because I have to get the cashews out of here. They're going to come out anyway because they just... They're cold. <laughs> well, I'm glad the real thing is already made. And you know what it can happen when you've made a mistake.
is, what is I mean, it's like I call it meat. But this is what I call the poop. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put them on the water. The water is supposed to be boiling, it's not, but let's do it. And I'm just going to show you how it's going to look like after. Because I have already chicken 
it's kind of soft, especially if it's the, the white one, white uh, meat. So you can't just put it in there and push the button and let it spin in. No, no, no. It's your push. Because if not, it's going to be really <laughs> okay, now we have to get this ready. Say 20 minutes on these things. Oh, that, means, uh, uh, that can be boiling over there forever. That's not a problem. Until the water finishes. Mm -hmm. We're going to put them in medium and let it boil over there. Okay, let's go with this. Okay. Now we're going to make the sandwich, and that one is the next recipe that's called Kerry Chicken Salad Sandwich. We're going to mix the chicken nuggets, nuggets, the raisins, which is one cup raisins. Okay, I make the recipe dough, that's why you see a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. But remember, when you make this at home, you freeze it. You freeze them, put them in a plastic bag. And if you want to put them on that a paper that you wrap them in that paper, is the one that black or parchment? Yes, that one. Wrap it there and then put them in, inside a plastic bag. Okay. And really tight, and that lasts for a long, long time. So <laughs> I'm gonna put the raisins. Up raisins. The raisins are already there. Yeah, mixed with the chicken nuggets, the cashews, one half cup cashews. Now they look like they're roasted. Yeah, the cashews, they don't need to be roasted, but I like to feel something crunchy mm -hmm. when I eat it. So I roast it with them over here. And I almost burn it, so I have to throw some away. But I'm putting them on. <laughs> and, and the celery, which is a half cup celery. Celery. And mix that all together in a bowl. And that's it? For that. For that. Mm -hmm. We learned that. Yeah. <laughs> Mix it all together. It has to be bigger because it's bigger than this for the dress. I guess so, yeah. Maybe one yellow one that have one down there. That big one? Probably. Yes. Oh, no, 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 look at the blue one there. Okay, let, let me just show you how it looks now. Mixing all those things. I'm going to put there the mayonnaise now. Yeah. 
taste like mayonnaise? Oh yeah. Better than mayonnaise. And remember, the more that you can make at home, the more ingredients that you can make at home, the more healthy you can be because uh, remember all those things that you buy at the, at the store, they put a lot of ingredients over there that you don't know what you're getting into your body. And that's why we have so many illness, so many cancers, so many things going on. Now, this is the curry, curry. curry powder. Do you all like curry powder? Yes. Two teaspoons of curry powder. Okay, I'm going to put them in there. This is the last time. Do you care? Love it. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's there. Maybe we need to do more of that. And mix that all together and then pour it over the chicken mixture and stir well. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a mayonnaise because it's a lot of chicken. That mayonnaise you can find it in any health food store. So far, the best price I found uh, from the places I've been going to is Michigan. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> well, Michigan. They are no one beat them on prices. But there's not a the health food store. There is in, in America. I see so much over there. That where we can just add. To yes. No, the one here in. Heath, 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 we try Gabby's in Port Orange. Yeah, they have that, especially on. That's the one that went. I went to the I went to the one that said Linda or whatever. Uh, or we oh, love Whole Foods. Love, 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 <laughs> Boy, just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. If you go there a lot, you have a good guess. Dillian Baker is an Adventist store, also. And it also What's the name of this? Dillian Baker. Dillian Baker. Where is that at? It's on um, Woodland. Woodland. Yeah, Woodland. Mm -hmm. you know, it's so big. You go to D1 on uh, 44 and you get into the town, you turn right. I don't know if you can turn right here. I think you have to turn. You have to go to the water. Right? Yeah. 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 And it's about a couple miles out. It's past the steps. Oh, my time is How Okay, let me tell you this. Um, with this, when you make your, when I make those things over here, I just make the recipe this exact the way it is, so you know how to make it. But at home, you can make changes. You can the taste will be better. I mean, you can add fake or whatever you want to do. So on this one, I'm not going to put any more mayonnaise. It's good enough like that. But you can just add more of the flavors, the whatever we use. The, what was that saying? Curry, curry. Uh, the curry because it's good. But it, this is ready. What about some turmeric or something like that? You whatever you want to add, and then you make your own recipe. I don't know if they like it. Yeah, if they like it. That's why we live in the land of freedom. You just eat what you want. As long as it's vegetarian. As long as it's vegetarian. Yeah, no matter what, you eat whatever you want. You have to think all the time. Okay, the last one. No, the, 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 the one before the last one. This is it. Okay, you're doing the... Okay, 
Now we're going to make grilled cheese. And that cheese is the one that you can cut, put them on your bread, and grill it. Now we have to start cutting those in half. And I'm going to show you how that cheese is going to This is going to be the end of the cheese. See? If I turn it off on a plate, then I can cut them in bigger pieces. But I made it so you can see. Are you done with the Vitamix? Uh, no, no, I need the cheese. So that's, uh, that's all of the dry ingredients. Right, right. That's uh, the real cheese. Real. Oh, that's a queso. It's just that, uh, I don't know why. Cheese is queso in Spanish. Yeah. And I just put cheese, queso over there. And after I print it, I notice it. And there's a gas. They're going to learn now. They're going to be walking <laughs> That's the, if you keep 
go any more. You want more to do But the flower is here. How much is it? It says one third of Jamaica we have for us and leaders. So half of the one third. A little bit. Yeah, one sixth. A sixth of a cup. It's one fourth and one little bit. But it's a cup, right? It's one third cup. It's okay, I'm just going to put some in there. The oil, the uh, here. one to four ounce jar of pimento that you're going to use. Oh, I'm going to use half. Any particular kind of oil? I, I use the olive oil. I, I use olive oil. Okay. A lot for the reason. And cornstarch, the four tablespoons. tablespoons. Yeah, I got a bit. Tablespoons lemon juice, lemon juice, one teaspoon sea salt, sea salt, one teaspoon onion powder, onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon garlic powder. That's it. And we're not putting any chilies in the jalapenos in the mixture. I'm not putting any of the jalapenos. You want these turned on? You want to get them warmed up?